up seam, Ephesians 5. Be ye therefore followers of Yahweh as dear children, and walk in love as Hamashiach also has loved us, and has given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to Yahweh for a sweet-smelling savor. But fornication and all uncleanness or covetousness, let it not be once named among you as becomes the Kodeshim, neither filthiness nor foolish talking nor jesting, which are not convenient, but rather giving of thanks. For this ye know, that no whoremonger, nor unclean person, nor covetous man who is an idolater, has any inheritance in the kingdom of Mashiach and of Yahweh. Let no man deceive you with vain words, for because of these things comes the wrath of Yah upon the children of disobedience. Be not yet therefore partakers with them, for ye were in time past darkness, but now are ye light in Yahweh. Walk as children of light. For the fruit of the Ruach is in all goodness and righteousness and truth, proving what is acceptable unto Yah, and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. For it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. But all things that are reproved are made manifest by the light. For whatsoever does make manifest is light. Wherefore, he says, Awake you that sleep, and arise from the dead, and Hamashiach shall give you light. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of Yah is, and be not drunk with wine, wherein is excess, but be filled with the Ruach, speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to Yahweh, giving thanks always for all things unto Yahweh and the Father in the name of our Adonai, Yahusha HaMashiach, submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of Yahweh. Women, submit yourselves unto your own men, as unto Yahweh. For the man is the head of the woman, even as Hamashiach is the head of the called-out assembly, and he is the Savior of the body. Therefore, as the called-out assembly is subject unto Mashiach, so let the women be to their own men in everything. Men, love your women, even as Hamashiach also loved the called-out assembly and gave himself for it that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word, that he might present it to himself, a glorious, called-out assembly, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. So ought men to love their women as their own bodies. He that loves his woman loves himself. For no man ever yet hated his own flesh, but nourishes and cherishes it, even as Hamashiach, the called-out assembly. For we are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother, and shall be joined unto his woman, and they too shall be one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Hamashiach and the called-out assembly. Nevertheless, let every one of you in particular so love his woman even as himself. And the woman see that she reverence her man 